Welcome to Wine Chats with Bill and Linda Lynn. Hello. Hi, Bill. Uh, we keep trying to start this episode. We don't know how. Uh, it it's, keeps stalling. It's getting awkward. But anyway, we're here. We made it. I'm on the couch. Hello. We're here. What are we're we doing? With wine. Look at this super cute um, little bottle of wine. We are going to drink this little bottle of wine for these little facts that we're going to read you today. Because with the Olympics, I don't know what the algorithm is doing, but like in my feed, 21 inter- interesting, quote unquote, facts popped up about Australia. About Australia, yeah. Yeah. So if you're from overseas and you're watching us and you're like, oh my God, what's Australia about? We're about to tell you. But we're going to learn some things too, because 100%. I, read a fir- I read a first few. Yeah. I read the first few. Good. And I was like, oh, interesting. Interesting. Let's go. I'm very curious. Anywho. Other things that are interesting. Eight at the gate. I don't know if we've featured them on the nightly before. Don't know. But if you haven't heard of them, you have to check them out. They're amazing. They're two sisters. They have a vineyard. They make amazing wine. They have eight children, hence the name. Eight at the gate. They uh-huh. waited for the school bus at the gate. How cute. There's actually the good food and wine show that's currently going on around Australia, and they're going to be at those shows. So um, go and check them out. Like, say hello to them. They're from Ratten Bully. Who is from Ratten Bully? I've never even heard of this place. Eight right? at the gate. Eight at the Rat and Bully? You've never heard of Rat and Bully? Have I heard of Rat and Bully? I've heard of them since we've featured Probably from them. them. Before. True. Um, so it's a sparkling Shiraz. Which we had to open in the sink just in case it sparkled at us. And it did. It did. Thank God. Look how bubbly it is. Look at that! Billy I is- love, sorry. I no, go. love the idea of sparkling Shiraz because like a sparkling Shiraz, how cool. But I'm not a huge fan of bubbles just because it makes me burp a lot. Yes. Yeah, so. Like I can't be the only one. No, of course not. Right? But like you look at a bubble and you start to burp. It's true. So Here look. we go. I'm airing it out. I don't know how to do this. I'm I, just going to get I, red wine on your couch. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. Well, Air out a bubbly I don't know. I don't know. It's a red wine. I feel like it needs aeration. Oh my gosh. Cheers. I'm so sorry about her. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Uh-huh. It's a pretty color. Mm. Try not to inhale the bubble as you bring the glass up to your mouth. See, I was ready for the bubbles. That's delicious. It's very sweet. It's a little bit sweeter than I anticipated. Yeah, I don't know. Look. But I like it. It's delicious. I'm not a bubble fan, but I am a Shiraz fan. So it's yummy in that sense. Um, just don't inhale the bubbles when you drink it. Put it. Yes. Yeah. All right, Lenny, tell us some interesting facts about Australia. Look, I don't know. know. I don't know if they're going to be interesting, but they're facts about Australia. Okay. Okay. So Sell it to go. us in an interesting way. Let's go. Okay. Number one. The Australian Alps get more snow than the Swiss Alps. That is interesting. That's a lie. Oh, is it? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds really wrong. What do you mean? Like, do we, A, does Australia have Alps? And B, is, just, is uh, Alps just like big mountains? <laughs> <laughs> I literally just spat. I don't know if that is the bubble wine I've or never heard stupidity. of Australian Alps. Billy, just And they have more it. snow? Like, where? I want to see these Alps. Because in Queensland, it's very hot and um, very steamy. 90% of Australians live on the coast. Well, we could have. Yeah, that's fair. We're an island. It's like, also hot <laughs> inside the island. <laughs> isn't every place Is that the what coast? the Alps are in the middle somewhere? No. Oh, my God. Tasmania has the cleanest air in the world. <gasps> Tasmania. Do you know I... what? Okay. That is actually pretty interesting. That is interesting, and I would love to go to Tasmania. It just sounds like the most beautiful. I've never been. Have you been to Tasmania? Yes, I have. I've never been. I just would love to go. Oh. I hear they have great wine, great food, great yes. air, bunch of fresh air up in there. Just breathe deep. And I like breathing, you know. <sighs> Billy, can you read Always number four, good. please? The Great Barrier <laughs> Reef is the largest ecosystem in the world. It is made up of nearly 3,000 individual reefs and can be seen from space. How do you see a reef from space? Like, what would you see? Just like an ocean with like bits and bobs in it? I have so many questions today. Oh, God. Help Lindsay us all. is not tiring, okay. getting tired of me at nope. all. Nope. Mm-hmm. Australia has over 60 separate wine regions. Oh, my God. We haven't read Cheers these. Cheers to that. We li- I read the first like few and that was it. <gasps> that is so cute. But that doesn't surprise 60. me. We do seem to like our wine and yeah. we do seem to produce a lot of it. Yes. So 60 different regions. Wow. I would love, that's interesting. Huge. Go. Very cool. Okay. Uh, Fraser Island Mm -hmm. in Queensland. Hey, Queensland. Kagari. Is very good. Mm -hmm. Kagari. Yep. Is the largest sand island in the world. Everybody knew that. In the world? I didn't know that. What? What? (laughs) That's amazing. (laughs) So many world firsts. (laughs) 
oh, God, help this girl. How long have you lived in Australia for? 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody's told me once that Kagari is the largest sand island or that we have Alps. Or that Tasmania has really fresh air. Well, you've never been to Tasmania. I'm learning so much. Oh, my God. Go on. The Indian... (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. What? The Indian Pacific train... I've never... I've never heard of this train, so there I'm in your boat. Has the longest straight section of train track in the world. Is that in Australia? They're Australian facts. Yeah, but it's called the... Indian Pacific train. Yeah, I don't get that one. Maybe it got confused by the list and thought it was the Indian... No, we're being don't probably know. really like offensive to somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I've I don't never know. heard of the Indian Pacific we train. We have a lo- the longest straight stretch of a train track. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Great Ocean Road, which we also assume is somewhere in Australia, um, is the world's largest war memorial. The okay. world's largest war memorial. Oh, why? I don't know. But I know the Great Ocean Road, but why is it a Same. war memorial? We're very intelligent people outside of this list. I know, doesn't that just go to like, <laughs> just proves how dumb we are? No offense to okay. us. Okay. Go on. Hush now go with on. your harsh Blonde. words. Okay, Blonde. right? Okay, so 80% of Australian animals are y- unique to Australia. Oh, really? Oh. 80% of our animals are unique to Australia. That's pretty cool. Koalas, kangaroos, spiders, lots of spiders, so many spiders bunch of snakes um australia is also speaking of oh no 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 australia has the world's longest golf course measuring more than 1350 kilometers long i can't even like picture that kilo- yeah what how can See, i don't be- play golf though like do you, you need a golf buggy it's gonna be a Absolutely. really long way to walk your poor caddy but think small, of how long that is like a city it's like a small city yeah like a thousand, thirteen hundred yeah, kilometers. kilometers. I just ran twenty the other week because you know, and that was a long way. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, thirteen hundred! Can you shut up? <sighs> okay, Australia is home to twenty-one of the world's twenty-five of most venomous. Ve- venomous. Ven- venomous. What? Venomous. What? <laughs> <It's bubbles>. venomous. <laughs> that word too. What? Snakes or spiders? What do you think it is? Snakes. Snakes, yeah. I was trying to trip her up. I'm just so clever. I'm too smart. You are I'm too so smart, smart for you. Who needs the um, Look, not surprising. Uh-huh. Again, oh, right. they all live here. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, okay, it would take about, it would take around 29 years to visit one new Aussie beach every day because there are over 10,000 of them. 10,685 uh, to be exact. Beaches. But I mean, yeah. okay, sure. I mean, again, we're an island, right? Like, There's- I went to Perth just recently. And like, the, it's, it's, it's all a beach. Begin. It's just one giant beach. Yeah. So like, does that count as one beach or does that count as like 30,000 different beaches? Do you know what I'm saying? Like how, like what constitute, like. Con- Please come back next week. Sorry. Please I know, I know. I, 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 yeah. If this is your first time watching us, I mean, <laughs> hello. Sorry. <Welcome. laughs> there are occasions we sound kind of smart. <laughs> There's not. Today's not one of them. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Um, Australia is the sixth largest country in the world. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, because we're pretty big. huge. Yeah, like, I'll right. take that. And ninety-one percent of our country is covered by native vegetation. <gasps> that's cool. Ninety-one percent of the country. That's because again, there's nothing in the middle. There's, I mean, there's stuff in the middle, but it's very hot, and um, it's probably just lots of vegetation in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Please stay with us. Thirty-three percent of Australians were born in another country. Both of us. Yeah, we're 100% in here. Right? True. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Some people, that would make some people very angry, to be honest. Like, Aww, we're not that gonna makes get, me sad. Yeah, we're not going to get into that topic no. today, but you know. No, and especially with the Olympics, we're welcoming all and wishing them all the best during their. What does that have to do with I that? don't know, because I what? just feel, I feel the Olympics <laughs> is such a special time. It's a time that the world comes together. So I'm like, yeah. all the Australians should like unite and. Yes. You know? Okay. Anyway. Australia is the only continent in the world mm-hmm. without an active volcano. Wow. I've never even thought about that. No, we don't have any volcanoes. I was going to say, do we, we even any? have any volcanoes? No. New know. Zealand has some. There are cousins. Does that count? I don't think so. Okay, well, then Different. we have none. <laughs> I got nothing for you. Okay. I don't even know where we are. Don't worry. We're on the home stretch, people. It's okay, true. Australia is home to the longest fence in the world. Ooh, Trump's fence is oh, in the longest one. Oh, was that the rabbit? 
Um, the dingo fence. Dingo fence. Originally built to keep dingoes away from land, obviously, yep, yeah, fertile land. The fence is now, oh my God, 5,614 kilometers Holy. long. Holy. I don't know where it is. Don't know. Doesn't say. I would assume inland. The Australian dollar is considered to be the most advanced currency in the world. Look at us go. Oh. It's waterproof, true, made of polymer and notoriously hard to counterfeit. That's All true. Good. I love that our money is plastic because how many yeah. times do you put money through the wash? Seriously. Not very often, but like when it happens, great. It's because, great. You can't ruin yeah. it. You can't no. like, yeah. I don't know what Canada is is now because it's been a long time since I've been home, but it was paper and like how – Yeah, how who? stupid. That's a stupid idea. Dumb. Um, okay, where – I don't know where we are. Down the bottom Oh, somewhere. Australia is the only continent covered by a single country. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought oh, yeah. About that. I've thought about that. Oh, have you? That's I've so thought about that before. I'm like, hmm, Australia is a continent and a country. Hmm. Just a thought. <laughs> okay, two more. Oh. The world's oldest fossil was discovered in Australia – 3.4 billion years yeah. old. It, this kind of stuff, like the dinosaurs and like all of that kind of stuff, even in Stanthorpe, like when we were looking at the rocks and like you read about like millions and billions of years ago, it used to look yeah. like this. I cannot comprehend that. No. Like that long no, ago. No, it's actually just too long ago. That's insane. No. Okay, last one, speaking of too long. Last one, <laughs> Australia is home to more than 1,500 species of spiders. Oh, that's messed up. Yeah, they had to be on the list. Spiders and snakes, koalas and kangaroos. Okay. And Alps. And Alps. We've learned so much today. I hope that this has been as (laughs) educational for you as it has been for us. Um, Apologies already. (laughs) Hope to see you back next week. (laughs) Thank you for joining us for this latest episode of Wine Chats Podcast with Bulldog and Lindelof. 